It's been about four months now since the Pope launched the Year of Faith. So the basic question is, how are things going so far? Well, Archbishop Rino Fisichella says the initiative is meeting its goals by renewing and strengthening the faith of Christians. There's a lot of enthusiasm surrounding the Year of Faith. Above all, it's an enthusiasm we can actually see in Christian communities, so in dioceses, parishes, lay movements and associations. It's an opportunity to reflect on the role faith plays and why it's important in people's lives. The Year of Faith started on October 11th, which actually coincided with the 50th anniversary of the start of the Second Vatican Council. The Year of Faith will run until November 24th, but there are still many surprises in store. There will be an important concert held on June 22nd. For the first time, a classical concert will be held in St. Peter's Square, and it's open to the public. Everyone's invited so they can enjoy the beauty of music. Part of the Year of Faith is emphasizing how culture, art and music can inspire and become tools for the new evangelization. And so, as part of this, the Vatican has organized several exhibits. One of them is in Castel Sant'Angelo. I'm sure that an exhibit like this about the Christian faith can be an invitation to actually reflect on the faith itself. In addition to different pilgrimages and exhibits on religious art, the Year of Faith is also about reflecting on the sacraments. And so, on April 28th, 40 youths from around the world will receive the Sacrament of Confirmation from the Pope himself.